would like to do a poem, if I can find it, <laughs> called, uh, called The Subject Was Faggots. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If Charlie's arms can hold out, we're going to do that. Because it came up one night when I called myself going to a dance, <laughs> going to a dance that was being held on 34th Street and 8th Avenue. I'm sure you all are aware of what famous, uh, what famous uh, dance house that they have there. And I was standing outside, you know, being cool, ha huh? <laughs> trying to find out who was going to go in, you know, that I, I figured I'd be able to talk to. And they were holding a faggot ball in the next half of the building. So I got kind of confused, and I had to sit down and write this poem. <laughs> the subject was faggots, and the quote was, ain't nothing happening but faggots and dope, faggots and dope, faggots and faggots and faggots who lined dot, 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 like that, 34th Street and 8th Avenue, giggling and grinning and prancing and shit, trying their best to see the misses and miseries and miscellaneous misfits who were just about to attend the faggot ball. Faggots who had come to ball. Faggots who had come to ball. Faggots who were balling because they could not get their balls inside the faggot hall. Balling, balling, ballless faggots. Cutie, cootie, and snooty. Faggots, I mean, you just had to dig it to dig it. The crowning attraction being the arrival of Miss Brooklyn, looking like a halfback in a miniskirt, with swan feathers covering his or uh, her or uh, its pectorals and balls as she or uh, he or uh, it prepared to enter the faggot ball. But sitting on the corner, digging all that I did as I did, long, long black limousines and long flowing evening gowns, had there been no sign on the door saying faggot ball, I might have entered, and God only knows just what would have happened. The subject was faggots. I'm glad you made it, Charlie. <laughs> I'm glad you made it.